What's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in, Lug Nuts YouTube. Uh, today we're going over a lap at Chuck Walla clockwise. Uh, the lap we're reviewing was about a 145 with plenty of mistakes, just to show you that uh, you can still go fast and make small errors, but we're trying to minimize those and have better lap times and hopefully better finishing results for those of you that'll be racing at CVMA. Next round is in October. We are going clockwise, so I'm thinking that a lot of you guys and gals might get some use out of this. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions after the video, if there's something I didn't cover that you have questions about, you can always reach out to me on Instagram at lugna underscore 521. I'm happy to answer any questions anytime. Uh, that's why I do these videos. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, some things that I won't be going over is breaking markers or references. It's kind of subjective. Everybody has their own way of doing that. Uh, I will tell you that I use the curbings a lot at Chuck Walla. There really is too much to cover in just one video. Um, so if you have any questions, concerns, you know, something that's brought to light for you, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to answer any questions, of course. Uh, don't forget, again, like, subscribe, comment, and down in the description, there'll be a more detailed version of what I've been talking about in this video, as well as my Venmo. So if you feel like contributing to the time and efforts I've been doing this to help you guys out, if you got something out of it, feel free. So thanks for tuning in and uh, let's get started. Here we are coming out on the front stretch, starting our lap, staring down into turn one already. We got to hold right here so we don't run out of room turning into turn one. Leave ourselves room to flop into turn two and don't apex too early here or you'll run wide like I do when you watch. Important to get through there clean, back on the throttle, rolling through three real smooth so we can get a good drive onto this little straightaway. It's an important straightaway. They all are at Chuck Walla because there's not many of them. Hold right, don't get in too early. We do want to apex early, but you can get sucked in this corner real early and that'll mess you all up. See how early I'm at the curbing already? The cone's way up ahead of me. Maybe a touch too early, but that's all right because we want it to spit us out wide here so that we can set up for a good drive out of turn five into turn six. Nice square corner in turn five. You can see I already see straight away ahead of me, so I'm pulling the trigger. Going down into turn six, you don't need to use all the track here. You can use half track, maybe two thirds. We want to apex early. That way we can spit out wide and be set up for turn seven. It's a decreasing radius corner. We want to get to that apex a little bit late so that we get a nice drive off the corner. Pick the bike up on the gas. Really important little straightaway, pretty fast here. On the brakes late and patient turning into turn eight. We want to be braking all the way through turn eight up into turn nine. That's a little report card for us. Slow is fast here. You can lose time, but there's not time to gain. We're really trying to get in there good and get down to turn 10 good. That way we can get on the gas and up the back straightaway as efficiently as possible. Real fast back straightaway here. Real fast entry to turn 11. You want to be patient so you can carry that roll speed down into the hill. This little white marker on the right hand side is what I'm looking for as a transition marker over to turn 12. Rolling back on the throttle here, keeping the bike nice and planted. Hard drive into the bowl, entering only about half track. Apex here, but you want to let that bike run in there real hard and deep. Let it roll up the banking and get you turned. That way you get pointed up the straightaway here and you're back on the gas. Getting a good run down into turn 14. Turn 14 is pretty straightforward. The biggest thing is don't apex too early and run out of track on the outside here because that can happen. I've seen it happen a lot. You see me here, I get turned in a little too early. Problem is... You do that, again, it spits you out wide, A, and B, you can't get on the gas soon enough, and this is the final corner. You don't want to get beat in the last corner of the last lap. You see the boy, the bike's pointed in here. I'm about half track to two-thirds entry. Again, kind of like the bowl, letting it run out wide and getting turned so we can get back on the gas here. Full throttle on our way to the checkered flag. And hopefully you're the first one to get there. <laughs> 